Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kara Marie and I am here with another video. So today I am going to show you my Louis Vuitton collection from accessories to shoes to bags. And so I hope that you like this video. If you like beauty, fashion, travel, and food, you are on the right channel. So please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next content coming in. Um, so let me start with the first Louis Vuitton item that I purchased. Um, this was back in 2014 and it is a Louis Vuitton Speedy. This is the number 30 and I have this bag um, since 2014. I bought it at the end of 2014. There's a story behind it, but I want to make this video really, really fast. And so, because I have quite some items to show you, I don't want to, you know, get you bored. So I just want to move on quickly, but this one has a little story behind it. Um, but I love this bag. It's my first one. It's the one that started me with the luxury collection. And so I just can't stop since then. And so this is always going to be in my closet. It's going to be mine forever. Next, I got me this uh, Speedy 25 Bandolier. This one is the uh, Vimeer Ebene. That is the treated leather. And um, it is in good condition. I have it since 2015. I use it a lot for work in the past. I don't use it anymore because lately I have not been using my bags for work. Um, but um, this is um, actually a good bag, very durable. The only thing that I don't like about it is the hardware. It does tarnish quickly. And Louis Vuitton has, you know, can't do anything about it, I guess. Um, the quality is not the same anymore. And I have to confess to you that I stopped buying from Louis Vuitton for the longest time because of their quality issues. And so I am back little by little purchasing other things. But, you know, I did stop going in the store for about two years. So I'm back. But yeah. So this is uh, my second purchase from Louis Vuitton. So yeah. Let me show you this before I forget. These are accessories that I got from Louis Vuitton. These are the one of the most, two of the most recent um, purchases from Louis Vuitton. I got this bracelet that has like the V from Louis Vuitton right there. And then this one has a nice closure that's a very secure, I guess, snap. And then it has like a button in here to like open it. So it's a really cool. And um, these are the only two that I own for now. I love them. I wear them a lot. You may see like the last few videos that I have, I do have them on because, you know, I like these accessories and, you know, they are costly and I wanted to be able to use them as much as I can. So these are some of the couple of uh, new items that I purchased from Louis Vuitton this year. Next, I got me this wallet. Um, this one is, I don't think they make this one anymore. I'm gonna open it and show you the inside. You ha It has a few slots in there and it also has a hidden pocket that is very deep inside. You can put some other things all the way in. Um, and then it has a little pouch that it brings. I guess it's for coins or you can use it for other purposes. Lately, I have been using a lot of mini bags, so I barely use this wallet. It's just sitting there, you know, when I guess, I use a big bag, I can use this wallet, but it's pretty intact. I, I did stamp my name on there with a hat stamp from Louis Vuitton and um, it's cute. I love it. It's actually my first wallet. I got it since 2014 as well. Okay, next I have this belt. Um, it is reversible. So you can use it black leather here and then canvas on the other side with a Louis Vuitton monogram print and it has the buckle here that is removable so you can adjust it to your like whether you want uh, the monogram or if you like the black side um and this is also one of my recent purchases a size 75 but it was actually a little big on me which i don't mind because I, you know, low rise pants are coming back. I will be able to use it um, with the low rise pants. Um, but, you know, they did also mention that I can make another punch hole here. So I don't know if I should do that. Um, but I mean, it's not huge on me, so it's fine. I can still wear it. But this is a really cute and it's one of the recent purchases. Next, I got me this key pouch or clay um this is a key holder and you can just put some cards in here coins or car or or cash um and other things that you want to put in here and then you can hang your keys 
on this little loop. And um, a lot of people do like to start their collection with this item. When I bought this one, I think it was like $200. Today is a lot more money. I think it's close to 300, if not over 300. I didn't do my research before I started this video, so I don't really know, but I know the price went up a lot. Next, I got me this mini pochette. Um, this is also another hot item that people do rave about and they want to have it in their collection. I was lucky to get this back in 2015 and 20 and 21 people were just going crazy looking for this item. You see, it's very small, but it's very versatile. You can add so many things in here as the bag is very flexible. Um, you can fit a regular size phone in here, a lip gloss, a card holder, and other things. And you can also attach another strap so that you can make it a long strap or, or make it like a mini purse, a crossbody mini purse. So I use my um, strap from my Louis Vuitton Damier Ebin bandolier. I'll show you. Right, this is the strap for Damier Ebin bag that i own and i just attach it to this and use it as a crossbody i'll show you how i do it so what i do is i attach the strap to this little rings right here that the bag automatically has and um i just use it as a crossbody next i have this card holder I barely used this one when I bought it. I probably used it like five times and it's all stretched out. This is one of the least favorite from Louis Vuitton that I own, but I have it because it was my first card holder ever from any luxury brand. And, um, you know, they don't make this style anymore. You can fit like your license here and then you can fit about two or three cards in here. But as you can see, it's like, I barely used it and it's dented. So for the price, not good quality i am assuming that if they make this up again it's going to be a little bit more pricey because of the design that it has and the color um and the leather that it, it, it has too but um you know i just have it for my collection but it's not my favorite this is the last purchase that i have from louis vuitton it is a um, mini palm spring they are actually they are typically sold out and I am glad that I have this one in my hands. I love it. Since I bought it, I use it a lot. If you go to my Instagram, you're gonna see how much I style it. Um, and so, you know, it's very comfortable um, to wear because it's like, you know, hands-free. This pocket right here is not usable. It's just there for design, I believe. I mean, you can open the zip and put something in there, but it's, it's hard to maneuver. So I just rather not put anything in there. And so the straps are very versatile as well. You can use them in many ways. You can use it as a crossbody and you can use it as a backpack and you can also hold it right here on the handle. I love this bag. It became my favorite, so have it. Next, I have this Agenda PM. Uh, this is one of my first SLGs as well. I was very into organizing my you know daily life and my appointments and all of that in my agenda so i decided to invest in a mini agenda pm i do buy the the inserts from etsy and um you know i kind of like feel like my appointments and everything that i have to do list and you know all of the things that i have pending are all in here i also use my phone but i like to write things down so i definitely use my agenda i also have my passport in here and um you know i like to buy the clips for design and things like that so and it has my my stamp right there so i love this little uh agenda you can use it as a wallet and also as your agenda or passport holder it's very versatile you can do many many things i also bought this pen from this pen from uh from ebay and you can also find it at amazon and it fits perfectly fine in here it's a t3 zebra that's that this one was made in france this one was made in france I love these boots. I can style them a lot. I mean, I thought I can wear them during all year round because you can also wear boots with like shorts or a skirt or a mini dress. And so I have been giving them a good use. I use them a lot, as you can see. Um, and I am happy that I have them. The prices are going up every year. I believe that they, are, they went up this year again. And so these are the most expensive shoes that I own. And 
I love them. Next, I have this pair of slides from Louis Vuitton. I wanted to go for a different pair of slides that they have, but they are pretty wide on their feet. So I decided to go with this pair. I also use this a lot for errands, runs, Walmart, Target, food shopping, walking around the house, going to the mailbox, you know, anything that I have to do that is fast, I just put this on and take out. These are great. These are awesome. I recommend them. And last, I have this pair of sandals. I don't know. I have a love and hate relationship with these sandals. Um, I went to Miami with the sandals and I walk maybe like a mile or so and they got this ruined. And the first day that I used them, they got ruined. So it's like walking on eggshells with the sandals. They are not the most comfortable. Yes, they elevate your outfit. Yes, they make you look more put together when you're dressing down, but they are not the best. I do not, I'm not a fan of them. I got them, I bought them. I cannot return them because I wore them, but they are not the best. Um, they have better quality, they have better things. I'd rather have the slides and they are cheaper as well. So, <laughs> but um, this is the last uh, item that I'm gonna show you from Louis Vuitton. I wanted to make this video quick, so thank you so much for staying with me till the end. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.